Hey everyone, welcome back. In this one, we are going to see Linux basics. Okay, so here I'm not going to teach you all of the Linux basics. I'm just going to teach you the whatever the necessary things that we are going to use in the Evil Genix setup. Okay, so yeah, that's I'm going to teach you. Okay, so without wasting time, let's get started. Uh, I think you can see my screen. So here, in order to teach Linux, I'm going to use Linux. Okay. So right now, as you can see, I'm using the Windows. So that's why I have installed the virtual box. So if I just type box here, you can see Oracle version box is there. Uh, if you don't have like this installation or if you don't know how to install, you can go quickly on the YouTube and you can uh, check how to install virtual box and how to uh, set up the Ubuntu OS on it. Okay. Uh, once that is done, once it is ready, what you can do is click on the start and it will start the Ubuntu OS. Okay, so here is the thing. Windows is a different operating system and Ubuntu is a different operating system. Windows is uh, obviously the Windows based, uh, which is owned by the Microsoft and which is closed source. Uh, in other hand, the Ubuntu is the open source operating system and it's based on the Linux. Okay, so what do you mean by open source? Open source means if you want to check the code for the base of the Ubuntu, then it is available publicly. You can verify, check. Okay okay so once that is done right now whatever i'm ubuntu i'm using it's a graphical user interface ubuntu that means it is installed and it is available graphically okay so uh, can you see it is asking me for password so let me enter my password and once i am inside it will look something like this the interface is quite similar to the uh, let's say windows in Windows, we have option to open the folder, check the files, right? Similarly, we have option right here also. So which is called files. So can you see it is listing down all of the files? Okay. So everything is uh, same as a Windows with little bit differences. Okay. So as I said, we can open the files right here. But what if I want to, let's say, run something, I want to install something on Ubuntu, then we have different process for that. Okay. So first of all, let's try to understand what exactly is a linux what is uh, uh basically how we can use linux using terminal and that all okay so i'll make my screen uh bigger full screen mode right here so that the windows bar will be not visible anymore and yeah this is how our linux works so uh the thing is we can do all in the linux using graphical user interface that exactly same things can be done using the terminal also when i say terminal i am referring to the command prompt so when i right click on the screen can you see it is saying open in terminal so when i click on the open in terminal it will open the exact same location on the terminal okay so let's say if i do ls what is ls ls means list all files so can you see it is saying on the desktop you have file called tt.txt so can you see right here this is the file which is present on my desktop which is tt.txt okay so in order to see the files we need to enter the ls command okay in order to change the directory so right now as i'm as as, as you can see i am in the desktop but uh, this folder right i whatever i am opening it's in the home right so that means it's a root directory so in order to go there i use command called cd so if i click on cd or if i type the cd can you see it is taking me on root that means nothing no path is there and if i do ls can you see it is say showing me 70 dollar mp4 the file is there this file is there the documents folder is there music is there and public is there okay so that means cd is used to change the directory so let's say i want to check the files inside the videos folder what i do i will type cd and i will say videos okay and i will hit the enter so right now i am changing the directory and i am going inside the videos and if i do ls can you see it is showing me one folder is there inside the videos okay so let me click on the videos and check okay we have any desk folder inside the videos that means whatever we can do graphically we can do using the terminal also in addition we have a lot of other benefits of using the terminal there are few things that are not available in the graphical user interface which i can see in the terminal so okay 
uh let's say you want to check the ip address of the your computer so how you can do in the graphical user interface i'm not sure if it is directly available or if it is available then it might be present in somewhere in the settings right so how i can exactly check the ip address so i can use the if config command in the linux and sorry if config and that should show me the ip address it is showing there are two interfaces one is basically my ethereum sorry uh, not ethereum ethernet and another is my local so ethernet address is 10.0.2.15 and local address is obviously 127.0.0.1 okay so yeah this is how the linux works basically whatever we need to do we can do from the terminal okay so let's close this particular graphical user interface and let's continue on the terminal by the way we have another command called clear which will clear all of the terminal screen okay and uh, when if i hit the cd without mentioning any path it will take me the root directory okay let me clear once again let's say i want to open the firefox we have two options either i can click right here or i can use the terminal on the terminal i can type firefox and hit the enter button and it will open the firefox as same as or clicking on the graphical user interface okay so that's the thing so let me click on the clear and uh, it will be clear okay so if you want to see what programs you can run on the terminal so right now i ran the firefox right similarly we have a lot of programs in the linux so what uh, programs can be run on the terminal then we can find that inside uh etc directory etc bin directory okay so or user bin directory so i can do ls ls means list all files inside slash etc or you can just slash user slash bin okay so that will give me list of the all files that i can use as a command okay so can you see uh we use the ls command to list down the files right so you should find ls somewhere here okay okay so can you see right here the ls command is also there okay so that means whatever the commands we can execute on the terminal that can be find here okay great so we check the two commands first is ls second is cd which is change directory command and the third thing we check is clear command which will clear the out all of the output on the screen the fourth command is nano so what exactly is a nano suppose i want to edit this particular tt.txt file how i can do it i can click on the open and it will open in the uh, disk directory okay hi me is the content of the file and here i can just add one two three whatever i can click uh, control s or i can click on the save one right here and close okay so this is how we can edit but what if i want to edit from the terminal how i do it so we have a command called nano and then we will specify the path of the uh, file so right now the command is uh, the file is right now in the desktop directory so i'll say desktop uh, desktop and then i'll say tt.txt and here can you see i can edit file right here now in the file to move up down side and this side what we can do is we can use arrow keys on your keyboard which the key we use for gameplay so i can go down i can go up i can add the content and once the content is added what you can do is hit ctrl s ctrl s to save and ctrl x to exit from the file okay so that's what we use what if you want to just read the file without editing so what you can do is cat and then file the uh, show the uh, path of the file so can you see it is catting the file on the terminal the content is hi me one two three and whatever it is okay so yeah this is how we can use the nano command this is how we can use the cat command okay so there is a one more thing in linux so whatever the terminal we are using it's a bash terminal that means it is using the language called bash okay uh, right now the command whatever we are using it's the bash command okay so let me give you one example there is one command called echo echo means it will echo uh, whatever we write on the terminal so can you see it is printing on the terminal in the python we have the print command okay and in the uh, c we have print ln 
so these code exactly uh, say work as the same as this one echo okay in the bash we have echo in python e we have print in the c we have printf okay or print l ln yeah so yeah this is also one kind of programming languages so let's say i want to execute multiple commands in one go how i do it so let's say i want to execute ls also i want to use the pwd also i can execute clear also how can i do it so for this we enter right here the semicolon so ls semicolon then do pwd pwd means print current directory print current working directory pwd then uh, we can say uh, ls is there then we will say cat and this file okay this file okay so yeah these three commands we need to execute so when i press enter can you see first is executed ls that's why it is showing the files then it executed pwd command that's why it is showing the path and then it is showing the content of the file okay so this is how we can execute the multiple commands at the same time but i said that bash is also one programming language that we use on this terminal right but how can we create files like python files like .py files and in the python what we do we create .py files and we execute right so how we exactly do in this particular bash script so let's do one thing let's create one file so i'll say nano and i'll uh, create one file called test.sh .sh is the extension for the bash okay so here i'll say ls then i'll in the next line i'll say pwd in the next line i'll say uh, let's say anything anything but let's skip the two commands only okay so i'll save this particular file i'll exit from the file using control x then how can i execute this particular file so i have two options i can just say bash because it is a bash file and i'll say test.sh and ex, uh, enter and hence uh, it is bash command uh, bash script it is executing can you see i'm getting output of the ls also and i'm getting output of the pwd also really nice now what is the second type so in the ls also we can list down the files with all permissions okay so if i say ls dash la all then it will list down like this it will give me file name right here it will give me the time when it was last edited it will give me the date uh, when it was last edited it will give me the size of the file it will give me the who which user has created file or which user has access permission to this file and in addition here it will tell us all permissions on the file so right now there is no need to go in the deep and check the how permissions work but the thing is uh, we need to have execute permission on the file to execute the file so let's do one thing let's say it's the clear command and to add the permission file command is ch mode plus x and then we will say test.sh ch mode is the command to change the permission plus x means add the execution permission and then the file is test.sh so that means it will add the execution permission on test.sh so if i do ls right now can you see the file is turned into the green previously it was the white now it's a green green means we can execute directly we don't need to do bash test dot ss to execute the file anymore we can execute dot slash and then test dot ss that will also execute the file okay same way we can execute any binaries also same way we can execute any executable files okay so yeah these all the basics of the linux there's all the commands that we are going to use while doing the evil Genix setup we are going to use uh, ls we are going to use pwd we are going to use nano we are going to use uh executing the executable file we are going to do uh ip config also okay okay uh, apart from this there are two three commands that are really necessary first let's say you want to download something from remote server or download something from one link then which command do you use you use wget command to download uh, anything from web okay so let's say i want to download one image so what i will do i'll go to the browser and i'll say 
let's say something something let's say dog okay i'll say dog so this is the cute dog that we want to download on our system so i will right click on it i'll say copy image link minimize and w get after the w get i will enter the uh, paste the path of the image that i copied earlier and hit the enter can you see it is a hundred percent that means the file is downloaded if i do ls it will show me image file somewhere here so can you see it is showing the image file okay. and let's go to the home folder and let's see if the image is downloaded yeah can you see the image is downloaded unfortunately the file name is uh, coming differently but yeah the image is downloaded okay so let's close this one and let's go back to the terminal let's clear everything from the terminal yeah that's all the command that we are going to use in the evilgenic setup by the way there are a lot of commands available in the linux for a lot of different operations there are a lot of tools linux is itself a new topic so i am not going to cover everything in this one i'm just going to cover whatever is necessary to know in order to do the let's say the evil genie setup okay so yeah that's all in this particular video let me know if i miss any command just let me know i'll edit the video and i'll add that particular command but yeah that's all and uh, thanks for watching see you in the next